Here is our second problem. This one says a rectangle has a perimeter of 35 and a half feet. If the length is 12 feet, what is the area of the rectangle? All right, we're going back to like third grade here and we're talking about perimeter, which we haven't really done much of this year. So just a little recap, if you're finding the perimeter of, in this case, a rectangle, the perimeter equals all of the sides added together. Easy enough. All right, so we know the perimeter is 35 and a half feet. We know that the length is 12 feet. We are trying to find out what is the area. All right, so the perimeter, we already know. That's 35 and a half feet. The length is 12 feet. We are trying to find the area. We don't know what the area is. So let's use what we already know to solve this problem. So I know my length is 12 feet. So here's the length, 12 feet. If this length is 12 feet, that means this length is also 12 feet because it's a rectangle. All right, now I need to figure out how I can get how I can solve for these sides because my end goal is to find the area and to find the area you need to multiply length times width. I already have the length, I don't have the width yet so I need to find out what that is. So you need to think to yourself now how could we do that? Well we know the perimeter, we know the length so we can figure out what these two are. Um, I already know these are both 12, which together that means they are 24. So to find these missing pieces, I can subtract the perimeter by our two lengths here. So um, we'll do 35 and a half minus 24. That is how we can find out what these two sides together in all equal. So please pause the video and solve for that. All right, when you subtracted, you should have gotten 11 and a half. It actually would be feet. So that does not mean each side is 11 and a half feet. That means the two sides together are 11 and a half feet. So how could I find out what just one of those sides are? Well, I have the total of the two sides. I know that there are two of them. So to find out what one of them are, I could um, divide, divide by two. So I'm gonna take this, 11 and a half, and I'm going to divide it by two. Now you could solve this in one of two ways. You could think of this as 11.5 and divide it by two. So your, you would look, your uh, work would look like this, 11.5. Or you could change this into a mixed number and then um, divide by two. So I'm gonna show you that way. Maybe you've forgotten how to do that. This is from a couple units back. So I'm gonna first change 11 and a half into an improper fraction, which would be 23 over two. And I still have divided by two. Well, I have a fraction and a whole number. I can multiply by the reciprocal. Hopefully we remember that from the last unit. So that means I'm gonna do 23 halves times, change that, reciprocal becomes one half. Pause the video and um, go ahead and solve that. You should have gotten 23 over four, and then you can't keep that as an improper fraction, so you should have gotten five and three fourths. Over here, you would have gotten um, five 5.75 5 and 5 and 3 fourths are the same. This is just a decimal. That is a mixed number. Okay, now I know these two sides are 5 and 3 fourths feet. Well, I'm not done yet. My goal is to find the area, right? So I'm going back to that. What is the area of the rectangle? To find the area I'm going to multiply the length times the width. So I have my length, I have my width. Go ahead, pause the video and solve that. So for your area, 
once you've multiplied those two, you should have gotten 69 feet squared. So to answer the problem entirely, what is the area of the rectangle? The area of the rectangle is 69 feet squared.